after three straight flops at the box office for DC, there's really not that much hope at Warner Brothers when it comes to Blue Beetle, which is set to release in August. Almost no people are talking about this. It's not a very well-known character, and quite frankly, this thing looks like it's about to absolutely tank. We've seen Black Adam, we've seen Shazam 2, and now we've seen The Flash, which is set to be at least a $200 million loss, if not more, for Warner Brothers. Well, Blue Beetle is next on that list. We saw the trailer come out several months ago, and interestingly enough, the director decided to take that opportunity to talk to fans who had criticism and to shit all over them. All of the sudden, he's taking a little bit different tune. All of the sudden, he is begging those people that had a problem with the trailer to watch his movie. It's almost like the fans he was talking shit to, including myself, a few months ago. Now he desperately needs them to show up at the box office because they know this is about to be yet another flop for DC and for Warner Brothers. When the trailer first came out, we saw a pretty unremarkable trailer. It really wasn't that impressive at any way, shape, or form, but the end, the end left a lasting impression on some when George Lopez's character, Uncle Rudy, made a joke about Batman being a fascist. Now, it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, including myself, that that was the last line in the trailer, that it was thrown away like that for jokes, and obviously, a lot of people talked about it. Somebody who apparently thought it was just really funny that people were pissed off was the director. And Hel Manuel Soto, the Blue Beetle director, just thought this was hilarious. Now, this is a guy who has since protected his Twitter account after responding to me, drew a little bit too much attention to him. After he was celebrating that the right people were upset about about his commentary in this movie. People realize that this is a dude who's called for the assassination of President Donald Trump. This is a dude who's called Puerto Rico a slave colony. This is a dude who is obsessed with identity politics and social justice, and of course, hating anybody involved with the pre former president of the United States. So of course, he goes protected after that. He's pretty much shut the fuck up since that point in time. But now, just months after being very willing to mock people that had a problem with the descriptor of Batman as a fascist, now he's begging them to come give the movie a chance. Blue Beetle director completely changes tune, ask moviegoers to give film a chance after mocking them over the Batman is a fascist line. Now, I even said this, even though obviously the video got a lot of attention, a little like 30 second clip of me got a lot of attention going out there about me bitching about how they even put that in the movie. I did also say that, listen, there could be a lot of context to the Batman is a fascist line. This character could be crazy. No one could respect him. Everybody thinks he's an idiot. Uh, there could be a lot of ways that they play it off like that. But to use that as the tagline, the end line of your trailer, it just seemed really stupid, like you're pandering to a really dumb group of people who never come out and support these movies and obviously I said that got a lot of attention well the Blue Beetle director and Hail Manuel Soto he decided to reply to that to somebody that was saying I need more lines like that from a movie if they're freaking out like this He's happy. He's laughing. Well, my job here is done. And then responding to somebody else. All the indicated people are the ones who are today angry about a line, Batman is a fascist. My job here is done. Uh, Barack Obama, mic drop. He's happy. My job is done. I'm glad that I pissed people off with that line. All of the sudden, as his movie is set to flop several weeks from now, he has a different tune. Now in an interview with Movie Maker, Soto is asking fans to give him and the film a chance. First, he attempted to explain the scene. We always wanted to have fun with the way Rudy talks about superheroes. He continued, So to the people who got mad at it, give us a chance. We're just trying to have fun with the characters we love, and everybody in our movie loves Batman and Superman and Flash. Yeah, I'm sure. It sounds like the other thing is the fascist loves him. And of course, we have our criticism about all of them, as we should, but that doesn't mean we hate Batman. We love Batman. And there's other lines in there from Zolo Maradueno, who is obviously the star, plays Jaime. And listen, I, I really like Zolo in Cobra Kai. Um, I, before all of this stuff came out, I was wishing the best for this movie. Now I think this movie is going to fail catastrophically, and I don't think there's anything anyone can do about it, to be quite honest with you. But the fact that Soto, the fact that this guy, if he would have just said that initially, 
there wouldn't have been a problem. The issue was that he celebrated that people were pissed off. He was laughing. He was mocking people. He was happy that people were upset that he called Batman a fascist. And then he protects his Twitter account. Then he deletes all his tweets about Trump. Then he runs and hides after he probably got told it wasn't a good idea. And now he's begging those same people that he mocked over that line to come and watch his movie. I don't know if that's going to work for you. Some of the early, early estimates for this have been disastrous at the box office. Again, everything DC right now is failing. There's no secret to that. And I don't think Blue Beetle is going to be any different. But I especially think that decisions by Angel Manuel Soto before this movie came out have probably impacted it. Probably impacted how many people were willing to give it a chance. He's begging that they come back, but I think it's probably a little too late. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.